Art was one of the things that spoke to me straight away when I was a kid and ever since I was six or seven I've just been obsessed with art and artists and looking at paintings and I suppose I do what I do because I'm trying to make sense of images and I think doing that in paint is quite a rebellious and sort of punky thing and the blackboard's a way of me capturing inspiration because I find quite often I get ideas and they're kind of fleeting and if you don't grab them somehow and get them down then you can kind of forget them and there's stuff on my blackboard that's been there for nearly five years that maybe will make it into a painting one day but they're things I don't want to forget. In this day and age, we see such little amounts of pure, vivid colour because we're in a world of print and graphics and TV and I think mixing real pigments from the earth and making potions. And I'm obsessed with colour and I wanted to create the most saturated, vibrant and in a way violent colours that I possibly could, which led me to having to make my own materials to use in my paintings. It's sort of like alchemical, there's kind of an alchemy in these kind of mixtures and what they do and I hope they, that impact and that potency carries for you to the people who see the work when it's finished. There's things I see in the world that I kind of want to make sense of and paint kind of gives me time to think about it and wrestle with it and I think it's really important actually in the time we live in which is so fast and so breakneck and so saturated to be able to take something out of that flow and preserve it and give you a chance to think about it, time and space to digest this stuff and that's what paintings for.